breaking news for that ass because it does appear that Frank Lampard's time as Chelsea manager is coming to an abrupt end. This is for the ones who care. What's going on, people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hugh Izzy, and you're watching. The reports are out left, right, and center that Thomas Tuchel, the former PSG boss, is going to be the one to take over, and that Frank Lampard could well be sacked today moments away from this being official as far as i'm concerned the sources are quite strong let's take a look here he is sky max b german reporter from sky sports news with the exclusive thomas tuchel is going to take over chelsea according to sky sources it's almost a done deal frank lampard is going to be sacked today let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe if you're new and drop the video a damn like as we proceed to have a little look at exactly what's been going on here they have of course made the decision to sack him less than 24 hours after chelsea booked their place in the fifth round of the fa cup with a 3-1 win over luton town but that result clearly not quite enough to convince the board that Lampard can turn things around. And Timo Werner certainly hasn't done him any favours over the last couple of months. One goal in 16 games in all competitions cannot have helped Frank's cause, especially when Chelsea were top of the table in early December. Did he need more time? Did he need more signings? Was he actually, and could he still be, a fantastic manager who just needed more patience from his club, more support from his club, or was he totally out of his depth and completely clueless and quite clearly getting caught out along the way? The fact of the matter is they've won three out of their last nine league games and this has seen them dropping down the table, tumbling down the table. Now 11 points behind the leaders, Manchester United, and five points behind fourth place Liverpool. And of course, you've got Roman Abramovich in the background thinking that Champions League qualification could slip away with a few more results, and he has decided to act now, especially seeing as Thomas Tuchel is available. What, what do you think about this? You're a Chelsea fan. You want more time for Frank? Well, my mum's Frank in. What are you on about, mum? And it is everywhere. Thomas Tuchel to replace Frank Lampard at Chelsea is the breaking news that your heart desires. Frank Lampard has been sacked as Chelsea manager and will be replaced by the former PSG boss. Plenty of people will be pointing to the amount of money that Lampard was given, splashing the cash with £222.5 million spent in the summer window. Sensational signings, including Kaya Wirtz, Timo Werner, Chilwell, Ziyech, Mendy, Malang Sar, who we haven't actually seen, Thiago Silva, it goes on. Well, it doesn't actually, it stops there, but that's £220 million. Money makes the world go round, and unfortunately it will get you sacked very, very quickly if the results aren't happening. It is a very sad situation, if we're being totally honest. Uh, however, this is Chelsea Football Club, and this is what we have come to know of Roman Abramovich. You can actually win the league and the FA Cup and still get sacked the next season. It's actually quite difficult to understand why they have given Lampard the role if they were not expecting these rocky, bumpy moments. And with a new manager who is, quite literally, learning on the ropes, you are going to have moments where difficulties present themselves. And as a result, you're going to have to trust him, put faith in him, maybe back him a little bit more. I question the players, if I'm totally honest with you, who have been missing and have let him down and have not, in many of those signings that we talked about, added much value. What he has done is he stabilised the ship after Sorry leaving and he has been very useful in this transition period, transitional period where they couldn't actually make any signings because he's got such an affiliation with the youngsters and has seen a couple of them come through in the championship and whatnot. There is no denying that he raised morale. People believed he really does seem to be the Chelsea man that they were all looking for. However, the fact of the matter is things have now changed, the expectations have now changed and we have invested so much money in this ship that it cannot sink. If the captain who's in charge of the ship is not steady in it, right, you gotta go, mate. We gotta get a new captain. Sorry, need a new, new skipper. However, in doing that, what you're always gonna have in your hands is a mutiny, because at the end of the day, it's the players. Yeah? The players are the ones kicking the ball. Werner, you're missing pens. Free goals, he's giving you free goals, didn't you favors? 
and this is how you repaint him blood on your hands if we're being totally honest about it he has probably been set up to fail hasn't he the fact of the matter is he is well probably their greatest player of all time and they have completely put their faith in this man who is genuinely unqualified for the position you know they may well have expected to perform better this season than last but to try and squeeze 250 million pounds worth of players six players all into a starting lineup and expect it to gel at once was really kind of unlikely and what it means is that the people in charge of making these decisions need to be ashamed of themselves because you got it very very wrong and to be quite honest you have now further tainted the idea at least of your greatest your greatest player it's a little bit like us giving the job to Thierry and then sacking him off after a year you couldn't do that you can't do that it's Thierry you got to let it breathe ultimately this is the man that runs the ship and he does of course have great expectations of this Chelsea side and will do especially since he's spending so much money on the damn thing he's probably looking to sell the club at some stage and he's not going to be able to do that until Chelsea are back at the top to increase that value. So, unfortunately for Frank, it's lights out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And drop the video a damn like if you breathe oxygen as we say goodbye to Frankie Boy Lampard as Chelsea manager. And we confirm who out of the, the trio of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Mikel Arteta and Frank Lampard was going to go first. There he is, he's out the door, he's gone. One of the others on top of the world, on top of the league and flying in various competitions and Arteta is picking up the pieces and hopefully Arsenal are going to give him a little bit more time. For Frank, it's adieu.